about the Holy Quran um, in Surah Al Waqiyah, there is a verse that um, um, about the Holy Quran it is said that it is Kitab al Maknoon. So he wants to know what is the meaning of that. The Holy Quran speaks of itself as a Kitab al Maknoon and also as a Kitab al Mubin. So in so many different verses, these epithets are explained that the Holy Quran is hidden from the view as well as apparent to anybody. There is no question of anybody reading the Quran and not getting a message. So this, if you consider the simple translation of the Holy Quran, it is understandable by anybody who understands the translation. That is to say, even if he reads the translation in English or Urdu, he can simply understand the meaning of do and do not. We should do this and we should do not. But there are certain verses which have an underlying meaning. And not one, but many underlying meanings. They are connected, like threads are connected to other threads. And for them, the Holy Quran also says, La yamassuhu illa al-mutaharoon. The meaning of these verses, the underlying verses, the underlying meaning of verses, <coughs> cannot be <coughs> understood except by those whom Allah has purified. It's not those who consider themselves to be pure, but whom Allah has purified. So, they can understand the hidden meaning and uh, many commentators of the Holy Quran in the past were pious people and were specially gifted by Allah to read the underlining meaning. That is why so many commentaries are written on the Quran. So it's Kitab al as well as Kitab al-Mubin.